what's up guys Cody here and today I'm bringing you guys a it's actually an entry for a contest but um, then again it's just a commentary just like any other commentary but it's an entry for serious dramas story contest which is basically where everyone makes a story or, uh, a commentary with a story that uh, he would listen to and then whichever story he likes the most would be the winner so anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started, so that way I have plenty of time to tell the story. Um, this is about a 10 minute long game, so I should have plenty of time. I might even get done before that, and if I do, I'm just going to, I guess, kind of ramble after that. But uh, right here I'm adjusting my screen settings real quick, so sorry about that. But anyway, so the story I'm going to tell you guys today is a pretty um, unfortunate story for me. And it's one of those stories that you uh, look back at and just say, how stupid was I? You know, just how stupid was I to, to do this and how, how stupid can I be that I actually did this? So, um, the way I could start off with the story was by saying, um, my dad actually bought me, well this was about two and a half, about three years ago, so I don't, I don't want to lie or anything, but I was probably about 16 or 17, I'm not exactly... I can't exactly remember, but I was about 16 or 17. My dad had actually just given me a car, and I didn't have to pay anything for it. It was uh, it was a pretty good car. It was uh, you know it, it got me anywhere I could go. It was reliable, um, and he just gave it to me, so I didn't have to pay anything for it, which was the best part. And it was a 1987 Mercedes diesel turbo. Um, not the best car, but like I said, it could get me around anywhere I needed to go. And I absolutely loved it. So, um, now for the story part. That's just the background. I was about 16 or 17. I was a sophomore in high school. And I had a car that my dad had given me. So, one Saturday night, me and my friend Larry and a girl named Andrea were, you know, just kind of like honestly just cruising around on a Saturday night. Um, I'm the type of person that really likes driving. I like to just cruise around and, uh, I mean, just drive. I, I literally just like to just drive around. So, me, uh, me, Andrea, and Andrea, and Larry were just cruising around on Saturday night. Um, and there were these people, or a guy, I should say, that I didn't really like too much. And I saw him at a gas station parked, and he was with a few friends, but I didn't realize that he was actually with them. So there was this guy that was at a gas station that I did not like, and he was parked there, and we were driving by. So I had this brilliant idea to tell one of my friends to um, come out of my sunroof and flip the guy off, which probably wasn't really a brilliant idea, but at the time it seemed like a brilliant idea. I'm not sure why. Uh, this is a, just an old story that I uh, shouldn't have done. <laughs> So, uh, my friend Andrea, she actually came out of the sunroof of my car and flipped the guy off, and I immediately turned around to look to see if he reacted to it, and he definitely saw it, because as soon as I looked back, they were all getting in their cars. Uh, this includes the guy that I don't like, he was getting in his car, and then two other friends were both driving their own cars. So. There were three different people getting in their cars, starting them up, and starting to chase me. Because I looked back again, and they were pulling out, and they were right behind me. So, these people start chasing me, right? And, at first, I didn't really know what to think. The, I guess the first thing that went through my mind was, Oh God, um, I really have no idea what they're going to do. I don't know if they're actually going to do something. Because uh, from where I am, it's a pretty small town, and for the most part, nothing bad usually happens. But, I, I just, I don't know, it was one of those moments. It's going to be one of those moments where I get caught up in the moment really bad, and I just don't think. That's why I look back at this and I say, how stupid could I have been? So, with my uh, little uh, mindset there, I immediately thought that they were going to just do something terrible. Uh, pull out a gun or something, I don't know what I was thinking, which, um, yeah. So, I start uh, going faster. <laughs> I start going really fast. I actually pull into this neighborhood. It's uh, kind of, it's not even a, it was, it was a pretty big neighborhood, actually. 
It was a pretty big neighborhood, lots of streets, lots of small streets, I should say. And the streets weren't very smooth, and they weren't very nicely done. It was a pretty old neighborhood, but a big one. And I'm going about 50 miles per hour down these street roads. Um, which isn't a good idea, by the way. No one should ever do this. This is, just so everybody knows, do not try this, because it's really not a good idea. <laughs> and anyway, so I'm going down these roads, going 50, and the speed limit is about 30. 35. So I was going pretty well over, not a whole lot, but for street, uh, neighborhood streets, it was pretty good. So we're going, uh, we take some lefts and some rights, and we're going really fast, and um, I'm thinking I'm going to get away from this. And I, I start going down this street, and by the way, it is dark. And at the end of the street, it's just a dead end. And I immediately started freaking out, and I actually slowed down at the end of the street and realized that there was a little property and a, a gate that I was able to go through which was someone's property which this is an even worse idea so I start driving down into this guy's dirt property that's very dark it's almost pitch dark I've got my headlights on though and I go down in his property I don't even think the guy was there maybe he was probably asleep but I go down there and I park in, in his uh, on his property and turn the car off and turn my headlights off thinking that the people weren't going to find me because they were actually, I had actually lost them pretty good right there and they were pretty far behind me so um, we were, me and my friends were parked in this guy's random property and had the car off with the headlights off and we sat there for probably a good three or four minutes and by that time my friends were telling me um, dude, you should probably go because if this guy has a shotgun and we're on his property he has every right to blow our heads off right now, so, um, yeah, I was, I was, that kind of, you know, freaked me out, so I was like, you know, that's probably, you're probably right. So, I turn the car back on, I, I start leaving the property, um, I pull back out onto the street, thinking that I got away from them because I didn't see them anywhere in sight, and as soon as I start accelerating out of the guy's property slash gate, I look to my left, which is a street over, and I see the people chasing me on that street, and they are going the same way as me, and they all looked at me, and yeah, they saw me again, so I immediately knew that they were on my tail again, um, I started going faster, and uh, we basically started doing the same thing again, we were being chased throughout the neighborhood streets, and going about 50, so I was going down this one road, this is, this is about the end of the story. I was going down this, this last street, and this was the last street I went down in this neighborhood. I was going about 55 or 60, and I go through two dips in the ground, through two really deep dips into the street. Um, the first dip we hit, and my friends, for some whatever reason, did not have their seatbelts on, which was a really bad idea. And they pop out of their seats and hit their freaking heads on the roof of the car. And I had my seatbelt on, and I hit my head on the roof of the car. Don't ask me how that happens, but it did. So, that was the first dip. And the second dip we go through, the same thing happens. Everybody hits their freaking heads on the car. And, but there was something different about this time when we hit the dip. This time, I heard a noise, but I didn't think too much of it. So I just kept on going. And, <sighs> this, this game is almost over, but probably better. Um, anyway, we hit the second dip, I heard a noise, and I didn't think much of it, but I kept on going to, I pulled up to a gas station, um, and I parked the car and looked under it, and sure enough, I looked under the car, and there was a huge, gaping puddle of oil coming from my car, and as soon as I saw that, I realized <laughs> that I had busted a huge hole in my oil pan under the car, hitting that last dip, and being the stupid teenager that I was, not thinking, I tried starting the car again and going and it, it stopped working and I overheated the engine. And all of the people that were chasing me came over to me and they each three had a comment and said, ah ha ha ha, your car broke. And I didn't, I just, I didn't cry but I, I like really wanted to to be honest because it really sucked. But anyway, so I ended up calling my dad, and I had to uh, come up with a really good apology for him. And he wasn't even mad at me, he was just highly disappointed. But um, that's pretty much the story, guys. If you enjoyed, um, 
please like and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.